Fernando, it is true. With none of those who tread lightly the Coranto and the Lavalta. He was clumsy and a little absent-minded. He had indeed just brought his feet together about six in the evening of the 7th of January at the finish of some such quadrille or minuet when he beheld, coming from the Muscovite embassy, a figure which, whether boys or women's, for the loose tunic and trousers of the Russian fashion served to disguise the sex, filled him with the highest curiosity. The person, whatever the name or sex, was about middle height, very slenderly fashioned, and dressed entirely in oyster-colored velvet, trimmed with some unfamiliar greenish-colored but these details were obscured by the extraordinary seductiveness which issued from the whole person. Images, metaphors of the most extreme and extravagant, twined and twisted in his mind. He called her a melon, a pineapple, an olive tree, an emerald and a fox in the snow, all in the space of three seconds. He did not know whether he had heard her, tasted her, seen her, or all three together. Finally, the unknown skater came to a standstill. She was not a hand's breath away. She was a woman.